President Barack Obama is going to meet with the leaders of Afghanistan and Pakistan tomorrow. One of the things they'll discuss is how those countries plan to battle the Taliban. Another concern, Pakistan's nuclear weapons arsenal and the fear they could fall into the wrong hands. Joining us now with more CBS News Chief Foreign Correspondent, Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent, Lara Logan. How are you? Good morning. Hannah. You're just back from over here. This is a mess. This whole section here, this Swat Valley, which is very close to the border of Afghanistan, not so far from Islamabad, has been ceded by the Zadari government to the Taliban. That's right. These guys are going to come to town. What message is the president going to give to Zadari and Karzai? Well, the biggest difference of opinion between the U.S. position and the Pakistanis is that some kind of peace deal is still the way to go, negotiating with these people, avoiding high civilian casualties, etc. Now, that clearly is not working. And I think what the U.S. government and President Obama wants to do is to send a message to Pakistan that that's not going to be good enough, and they have to do something about that. So they're fighting around the Swat Valley right now. Right. But in the Swat Valley, they're not. The peace right. deal is supposedly still holding, right. which is a farce. Although one of the... Um, one of the leadership in Pakistan told civilians to get out of the Swat Valley as of this morning. This place is up for grab. Taliban is going out of sight of the Swat Valley, attacking other places. How big of a problem does Zadari have on his hands here? He has an absolutely huge problem. One is civilian governments in Pakistan have never been very strong. Traditionally, the military takes over and rules the country. Right. And there are people in Pakistan desperate to hold on to their civilian institutions of government. He's not particularly popular himself. So he's not a very strong president anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you have the problem that the people in the Swat Valley region have been abandoned by the government for decades and neglected. They have no alternative. They may not want the Taliban, right. but the government's not offering them anything in exchange. Here is this festering mess then over here. And oh, by the way, they do have nuclear weapons, which we've been assured will remain safe. But this festering mess is over here. Afghanistan has only continued to deteriorate over the last couple of years. This huge ramp up of forces there. What is Obama's message going to be to Karzai? Absolutely clear. His message to both Karzai and Zadari is, it doesn't matter what you do here, it makes no difference how many troops you put, how much money you pour in, or what the government does. If you don't fix this right here, mm -hmm. you're wasting your time. It's completely meaningless. Then it means all the sacrifices that were made were for nothing. So his message to Karzai is, he's going to want Karzai to clean up his government, clean up corruption, but at the same time, they're, they're saying to Zadari, nothing we do matters if you don't clean up your mess. These two are inextricable linked then. And have been from day one, yeah. but we've only admitted it now, yeah. All which right. is a, you know, a long time after the fact. <laughs> long time coming. Lara Logan, thanks for coming in this morning. Do appreciate it.